change from their side uh, you know which everyone was waiting for and finally we got this update so in this particular admin panel now you know you can manage all the zscaler services through just one console in previous one we used to have different different admin panels for zia zpa zcc now you will be having single console to manage all the services of zscaler right so they have started giving access to their existing customers right so we have also received it today if i'll give you overview uh this is how it is going to look like when you will log in into this console.zscaler.com right so there it will show you the dashboard where you can see your uh statistics right how the traffic is distributed for your tenant right uh your cyber security logs transactional activities advanced threat right sandbox all these uh things will be available here right then your operational uh information about your devices version distribution so whatever information was available in different platforms like zi admin portal zcc admin portal zp admin portal now they have clubbed it together and this is giving you the unified uh console to manage your services right so it is looking quite good similarly when you go to administration here now you have uh you know your company profile subscription details your linked services right branding then comes your admin management internet access administrators right then comes your role based internet access private access your audit logs okay then comes your identity so z identity so whatever we used to configure inside z identity now it is available here only so you can just configure your administrators their role based access everything from here then comes your internet and saas that is zia so internet authentication settings right for idp and also if you click on that it will show you that whatever idp related things are available for our tenant right so you can see the exact same uh way the way we used to configure it the only difference is like they have changed the entire console of doing it right so here you can see we got the identity providers so similarly uh private access you can come here and uh, you will be able to do the idp configuration for private access machine groups and all that right then comes your uh inside administration you have entitlement api configuration backup and restore then policy section so access control for internet and saas url filtering right so one portal and you can manage all services so these are the logs uh, you know rules which we have created during the session so now you can do it then url categories you can create your categories you can view the categories so basically what they have done they have enhanced the ui which used to be very uh, cumbersome or you can say very uh, you know uh, you can say complex to understand now what they have done they have simplified the things the way it used to be with other technologies like if i talk about palo alto prisma sasi we have a single console that is start a cloud manager right so now you know zscaler has also come up with the same uh, uh you can say idea and finally it is live then you can see your file type control then private applications here only you know the things are coming up right your access control policy your application segments so now you need not to navigate between the administrative panels that i need to log in into zia to do the zia configuration i need to log in into the private access to do the private access configuration that is not needed now right they have given you the sections that this is for your internet and saas this is for your private application then section for your firewall your client list vpn features right so now they are trying to make it really good from a uh, user acceptance view and user administrative view okay 
Similarly, if you see infrastructure here, you will see both uh, traffic forwarding. Like if you have any SD-WAN integration, you can do it. Then you have your hosted pack file uh, details available here, right? Then your network policies are coming. Forward control, bandwidth control, okay? Similarly, for private access, they have given you like this, your app connectors, the deployment of the, those app connectors, right? Whether they are up, they are down. So all the information will be coming up here, right? Your connector locations, device overview. Then in the logs, you can see your web insights where you will be able to see your logs. So the UI has been completely changed now, right? So right now, I will continue the training with the old UI only because, uh, you know, for this, I need to also make uh, changes in the training now. I need to redesign it. So the upcoming batch, which is coming for Zscaler, in that I'll redesign all of it because right now they have made a lot of changes. Now it will be like, uh, you know, I need to teach both ZIA and ZPA simultaneously, right? Because now there will be single console, okay? So this was very much a weighted thing. So here you can see ZIA logs, here you can see private application logs. So this was really very awaited uh, update from Zscaler side, which everyone was looking at, right? Because it becomes really difficult to uh, navigate between these uh, uh, portals and do the configuration. So at least now we have a single pane of glass through which we can manage both the services. In fact, including your ZCC. So things have become really good now, right? So I think customers are also going to love this because uh, it was really need of an hour. Okay, so I'll log in into the Zscaler. Uh, just a minute. Login into the old portal. 